Hello and welcome back to Outpost Infinity Siege. Commander of Outpost we'll get right into it. We'll be going to difficulty free this time. Miners collecting resources will appear during recovery day. And we get a front line. This one's some friendly turrets, confirm area. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Let's roll. Outpost 11, launch confirmed. Right. We'll try to go to this thing here. And we'll start by looting the first area, just so we can get a base of materials. I'll probably just immediately craft ammo, so that in the last area we aren't desperately seeking ammo. Um, right. So we'll take this one a bit more seriously. Okay. Command mode activated. Drone. Hmm. And another drone there. With a bajillion health, apparently. And there's so uh, three facilities, it looks like. We might want to just quickly run through there. We can probably scrap that van. Um, that should give us all the materials and crap that we need. Base is currently mining away at this. So base will just gain some resources over time as we go. Okay. I have no idea what that's about. I think we're supposed to creep up on them, but I don't know exactly how you meant to do that. They just immediately leave the absolute moment they see you. Right, uh, what have we got in here? Um, it's a tie, it deals extra random valued damage. Huh. Fuel, ammo. Right, well, that's that uh, searched. Absolutely uh, grab that. Material storage is pretty full up now. Good, good, it's what we want to see. I think we're meant to like shoot those barrels on them. It says you've been spotted by what? By actual what? How did that see me in here? Absolutely no bloody sense that. And you can bet your ass that's all high value components and that that's in there. 
Now, we need some lumber for material crates, so... Yeah, let's... Definitely worth doing. Um... So that gives us a ton of materials, as well as um, a bunch of just like literal, literal lumber components. So that's good. So we can, to a certain extent, convert uh, energy into materials then. And we're going to want to make as much ammo as we can here. Then we'll auto-loot auto our way to the uh, exit. And we'll see how bad difficulty 3 is. power bank to open this. Uh, let's see if there is one nearby. Alternatively I might have an I might have other means of getting in right there with that barrel. Right. Yeah sure use the power. What it's there for. Ironically, that can be used to make a battery that will give us more power in future. Turret Nexus, okay, that's huge. It has been worth coming here just for that. A contraption door. Okay, so that takes like a few thousand off the door. That probably doesn't do much. I'm guessing somewhere around here there'll be a switch then for this. Um, hmm. The only place I've not really checked around has been down here in this place, so... If there isn't anything here, I don't know really where I'd grab anything to help with any of that that we're having is issues with over there. Nope. Wow. I kind of thought that you might get more stuff coming here manually rather than it being all... Uh, auto looted but uh, I think apart from being able to just like gather some stuff from the trees and things it's not really much better doing it manually compared to 
otherwise. It's just whether or not you want to save your time. Um, maybe those drones flew off with the stuff. Um, I think there were another box, not box, uh, explos uh, explosive down here. This might do something. You never know. If not this, then I'm kind of all out of ideas at that point. We might be able to shoot our way in at this point, though. So what's it on? Poor Chud found. Six. That's knocked it down to another four mag. Okay, it'd take like another twenty-six magazines from the gun to destroy that door. Um, not happening. We would need probably two more. Yeah, we'd need another barrel and an absolute ass ton of ammo, and no. Where'd the lumber go there? It's usually a third one, where's it gone? Hmm. Maybe it went through the map or something or whatever. Right! We only produce two sometimes. Nope, there it is. So there must be a third one around here somewhere. But it's probably pinged off somewhere. Right. Okay. That'll have to do. Right, more or less ready. How's power looking? 180. We can chop a few more trees down. We can take a few more. Right, um... Yeah, I'm not surprised one's pinged off and gone missing over there. Right. Um. Yeah, I really, really wish we had addition. Just, just one more ammo maker. That would double the amount we're producing. It'd be so much better. Oh well. Right, let's get enough. Uh, let's get enough material that we can produce an extra turret on the final day, at least. Right, so we've got two hundred. For an extra turret on the final day, we'll need three hundred. Right, that's two hundred and fifty. 290 odd. Also, this will give us a bunch of material boxes when we get back if we use it with some. I think it's just scrap we need to use it with. We can put up a bunch of material storage boxes back at the base. 
I can't mine the rocks, can I, as well? Or even more materials or something, can I? Maybe, like specific boulders or something? No. Just the trees, then. Right, that'll do it. We're at max. 144 energy remaining. Plenty of lumber gathered. Regular recovery. I shouldn't make more ammo now, so we've got max storage right. End exploration. Now that's all we need. We should be good to go to recovery day now. Hmm. Bo uh, booster mag size, yep. Instant loot. Turret damage against marked enemies. Um, each kill on enemies by hitting weak, weak points gives building materials. Yep. Good stuff. Um, 72 to insta loot this. Construct a machine gun in command mode for three. Core tower weapon damage plus 25%. Ooh. Okay, better than having one extra turret is making all of our others significantly better. Yeah. 30 mil barrel. Some various stuff. Um, did we get any of those? What were we needed for the... Uh, Whatever it was we needed for the uh, explosives. I don't think we did. Right. Energy is down to... 30. A large recovery device will appear next to the base on recovery day. Um... Plant sample, stock, some fibre, some plant extract. Now we've got a purple item. We've got a few purple items actually that we've grabbed in all this. Right, recovery day. Yeah. Call the fleet. Right, hang on. I haven't put my. Uh, yeah, I've not put my ammo boxes in or anything, so... Good, good. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. Right. Hopefully, we've got enough to uh, nail this now. So they are coming on the flanks. These keep my configuration settings, they do not. Maybe I have to do it in the outpost editor. Bigger. Small units. Firm. some of these. We can. Uh, 
Very nice. On the final day, we absolutely can get some extra materials should we need them. At an exchange rate, a visit 40 materials we'll get from each one of those. 40 for 6 power. It's not bad. Oh, and we've got that up ahead. Now, I think it said if our front line was breached, they would come down to the uh, to the sides, wasn't it? Oh, and this is. Combat Miner. Ooh, hello. So we want to hold here as long as we can. Um, we're going to need some ammo. I don't want to lose this, but I think the gun's out and I can't reach it to reload the thing. <laughs> so it's not great, no. Okay, yeah, this is going down. Right, we've got one of these that we can place over here. Put that down. I'm going to need to use some ammo on ourselves and we'll get this making some. Right. There we are. So they are coming to the sides now. We've got 90 seconds to hold out. We mostly want to focus in on the uh, big tanky ones. I think that's... Most of them have gone, have gone down now. 
How are we doing on the sides? Perfectly fine, no issues. Recovery procedure nearing completion. Hold on just a bit longer. Right. This has gone a lot more smoother than I was expecting. I think we might finally be finished with these woodlands. Might be ready for the next area. We also now know how to handle these front lines and if you these breach and stuff. All enemies, then the evac aircraft will be able to wait for you while you pick up all we the goodies nearby. We now have some ammo on some of these. Going. We won. Let's get out of here. Right. Aircraft arriving in 15 seconds. Scan. There we are. Just to it first then. We'll check down here. So I believe that we did kill a few down here. You never know. There might be some tech points or something. There isn't. Oh well. We need enemies that drop better stuff. Right. I'm guessing we've broken the outpost record or whatever it is. The recovery record or whatever probably. Okay. Some pretty good stuff. Most importantly a new turret nexus so we can make a new turret now. Ah but we didn't eliminate the apostate. We didn't get enough cool loot to draw him out. So we're going to have to do that a few times. We're probably going to need more energy. Either that or we, we could do all the searching manually. But no, we're probably just going to just absolutely smash it until he event until we've just eventually got enough energy that he's forced to arrive. Oh, electrical components. We need those. Uh, base warehouse, what can we get rid of? Sort. Right, um... Sell some of these MG turret barrels. Um... The vintage comics and movies, the plant sample. So just all the various valuables. Uh, these detectors are not actually that valuable and probably crap. Um, Pre-war beverages are apparently quite valuable for some reason. Um, Hmm. Well, these mods are kind of cheap and all, aren't they? Right. The turret bases are pretty crazy. We've got a bunch of them as well. It's the nexuses that you need. Okay, how much have we got? Nowhere near enough, really. Um, right, let's get rid of some bases. 
1.2k. Max. Purchase. Boom. So when, it, when stuff's available at the shop, we should probably buy things at the shop. Right, manufacturing. Um, another 30 mil. Sure, why not? The more important, the ammo maker. So we need those high explosives. The question is, and why we can build these now? Okay, that's kind of badass. Um, but yeah, we will need, so we need the high explosives, high energy compounds, which we still don't know how to make. Right. can now make a bunch of material crates. Well, there's some armoured walls as well. Right. We'll build the outpost up a bit. Right, jobs are good un. Um, down here we will get rid of the window. Armoured panel please. And here. And there. Right. On that note, let's get the 30mm uh, cannon going then. So, where will this go? Is the next question. So, right, we've got. We're also running out of places to like move when we get up here. Like to actually move our character. We're gonna start needing more space at this rate. Right. And we probably want to go for machine guns in the future. Right, for now though, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Outpost Infinity Siege. And I think that's, yeah. What have we got? Have we got traits on him yet? Oh, we've got five. He's leveled up a little bit. Mind you, there's only 10 points required to finally finish his entire uh, talent tree here, so. And I think now, yeah, if we recruit down here, this has gone up to 2 rather than 1. So I think that's because we've got 2 recruitment beacons. So I think eventually we will unlock the ability to get new people in.
or something along those lines. I don't know if they'll follow us around as like AI or whatever, but we'll see. Maybe it'll just be alternative character skins essentially with different abilities or something. But we'll see what it is. In the meantime, we've just got to keep hitting up the border woodlands. So we just have to keep hitting up the border woodlands. We can try difficulty three over and over again now. We seem to absolutely cakewalk it, so we just need to get enough rare stuff before we leave there, essentially. It'll probably just be a case of... We'll need much more energy. So we'll need a lot more energy. That's if we're going to do it using auto loot. If we want to... If we do do it a few times and we don't get any luck, we can just manually search for place, I guess, and... We'll almost certainly get enough rare materials then. Anyway, for now though, this has been Outpost Infinity Siege. And we'll give it another go next time. I'll see you then.